A milestone today in New York's move toward clean energy, a groundbreaking in East Hampton for a major offshore wind project. It'll only be the second in the nation. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports this is the start of at least five wind farms coming to our waters. Ceremonial shovels for an historic turning point, New York's first offshore wind farm. Actual shovels will be digging 35 miles off Montauk Point, bringing clean energy to 70,000 East End homes. If you ask what the energy future looks like, I say... The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. South Fork wind hailed as a tangible step in cutting carbon emissions. That's the same as taking 60,000 cars off the road. The state's first wind farm off East Hampton because the town committed to 100% renewables to meet growing energy demands. We think that it's a model that should be repeated across the country. But America's clean energy transition is not a dream. For a distant future, it's happening right here and it's happening right now. It's the start of something big, the first of five wind farms planned to help New York meet its goal of a zero carbon electric grid by 2040. It's the start of a brand new, extremely large clean energy source. In the next seven years, we're going to transform the way that uh, Long Island and New York get their, their energy. It's not all cheers for the project with the transmission lines landing here in Wainscott. There's opposition from some residents and commercial fishing. You don't destroy the environment in order to save it. Would you want to go swim in the ocean when it's like what, 35 megawatts of current flowing through that? The company says there will be no beach impact during the installation and any inconvenience will be temporary while the long-term benefit impacts everyone. Good jobs, fighting climate change, stable electric rates. People need to support offshore wind so that Long Island can be sustainable and livable now and in the future. We have seen the ravages of climate change. The state's goal is to power six million homes with wind power by the middle of the next decade. In East Hampton, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.